Can I use a data set earning? Uh, did we use this data set before? Uh, <laughs> good, good. So that uh, so that you can take advantage of previous homework to you know, especially at the beginning of the loading the data set part will be will be the same, right? So let's use the earning data set to to do this stuff. First question: Let's run the regression model. You can call the model A. It's a log wage or WKS with a working weeks, south, uh, metropolitan area, uh, marital status, experience, experience square, occupation, industry, union membership, female dummy, black dummy, education, right? We have 12 variables in total. So that um, regression model A contains a 12 coefficient. Make sure you, you know, double check your regression model. Make sure you include everything I listed right here, right? If you omit a variable, then you're going to get different results. So make sure you, you know, you include the 12 variables I mentioned right here. And uh, another detail, R is case sensitive. You have to use the same variable name uh, which show up in, in, in R. If, if in R, if the data set variable name is a little, OCC occupation. Then in your regression, you have to type little OCC. If the variable name in the data set is capital OCC, you have to use the same capital OCC, right? Make sure, make sure you use the same one. Again, our computer, our studio is case sensitive. This is our regression model A. Second question. In this regression model, find the value of the overall F value. Uh, regression R square, K minus one and minus K, and then verify this relationship. In other words, uh, plug in the numbers on the right hand side, uh, simplify so that show right hand side going to simplify, get a number which is exactly the same as overall F value. In other words, just like the example I showed you, in my example, in my example, where is it? In my example, it's uh, it, it must be something like uh, let me type. Uh, in my example, it's zero point one nine. This is my R square. A three divided by divided by one minus of this number, right? You you can simply type something like this one one uh, a three. And then further uh, times times uh, n minus k divided by k minus one, right? As I told you, n minus k is right here, ninety six in my case, right? K minus one is right here, three, right? So that it's times ninety six divided by three, and simplify this equation. It must be a number exactly the same as my f overall f right here. It must be the same as a seven seven point nine, right? And so that's the that's the homework uh, question. And so in your regression case, for your regression right here, you use your R square, use your N minus K, use your K minus one, right? Plug in to verify and so you get a number which is exactly the same as overall F value. So that's the little question. Any questions? <laughs> okay. So that's number one and a two. Number three, let's do a F test uh, to test if female and black in model A has a zero coefficient at the same time. Uh, model A, we have 12 variables right here. We want to test female and black right here. Female and black, they too, right? We want to test they too if they are zero and zero at the same time. How do we to test that one? First of all, you know, we already have a model A, right? So this is the unrestricted model contains everything. Now you have to you have to run another model. You have to run another restricted model, right? How do we figure out the restricted model? <laughs> Very simple. <laughs> Based on our H now. Our H now is that you're testing the two are zeros, right? So that your restricted model basically everything except the two, right? In other words, you're you can call I run a new model, let me call it model C. Model C is log wage over everything right here. Make sure you include everything right here and, uh, and until union 
and the skip the to end plus education, right? You have uh, you have a uh, twelve minus. We have ten variables, right? You have ten variables. You call the model C, and once you run model A and model C, now you use a NOAA command, a NOAA parenthesis. Model model A, model C. Use a you know comma to compare the two, right? Computer gonna give us a give us a F value, give a P value based on our P value. Make our conclusion. Make our conclusion so that uh, test if they two jointly have zero coefficient. A technical detail, a NOVA command right here. First of all, the order doesn't matter. Either model one comma model two or model two comma model one. The order doesn't matter. And so if you use a different order, then the F value right here, you're going to you're going to get a negative seven point something <laughs> but the p value is exactly the same so short answer short answer order doesn't matter but uh, uh in pr practice actually the best way will be you know use uh, the second restricted model comma unrestricted model usually we, we do this way but if you reverse order actually it doesn't matter if the p value is exactly the same exactly the same so that's a that's a little detail. That's question number three. And so it's a joint F test. Again, in your model C, make sure, make sure it's a regression log wage until you put everything right here, except except they two, right? <laughs> except they two. And so include everything else. That's question number three. Question number four. Similarly, in the original re regression. Now we want to test these two, marital status and union. MS, MS is right here. Uh, union here. Beta 4, beta 9. Beta 4, beta 9. They two are jointly zero. So that similarly, you know, we, you know, you have to compare two different models, right? The first model, model A, is the same one. We already have the model A. Uh, similarly, you have to run another model. Let's call it model D. Model D is log wage over everything except MS and the uh, uni. Remove the two, right? Remove MS and the uh, uni, right? Run an, another model. Let's call it model D. And similarly, use com ANOVA command, ANOVA parenthesis, model A, comma, model D, right? Actually, it will be better the other way around. Model D, come on, Model A. <laughs> but again, order doesn't matter. So that based on conclusion, write down your, you know, based on the p-value, make write down your conclusion. Right here, uh, it it shall be suggested to write down. Actually, let's require write down your H now H one because later on, once you get a conclusion, reject now. I mean, what's what is your H now, right? So that. Let's do the exercise. Use a comment. You can use a smart comments to type my H now is, for example, beta four and beta nine equals to zero, right? And the H now is a type of sentence. At least one of them is not a zero, right? Don't don't try to figure out the exact combination. Just use a sentence. At least one of them is not a zero, right? And then based on the, you know, based on the p-value, write down your conclusion. Just uh, say say something because my p value is uh, say zero point zero zero eight, so that I reject the null, right? Which is smaller than zero point zero five, so that I reject the null. No more, no less. You say you, you can. You don't have to further explain what do you mean by a reject the null. So you can you can just uh, stop right there. Say I reject null. I fail to reject null. That's, that's all. If you like, you can continue. To say do I prefer model A or do I prefer model C? So on the first. But, Finally, question number five. In model A for the variable MS, interpret the coefficient MS. Note that the left-hand side of variable is log variable. In other words, right here. MS, this is a dummy variable, married or not, okay? Married or not, zero, one. And left-hand side, this is log wage, log wage. Now, how do we interpret this coefficient, beta four? So suppose, suppose for other continuous variable, for example, suppose for education. Education is a continuous variable, right? So suppose, for example, beta 12 is a 0 0.8. You can directly use 0 0.8 as a percentage change, something like the never education increases by one year, then wage increased by 0 0.8, which is 80%, right? But 
Suppose MS has a coefficient 0 0.8. Now you cannot use 0 0.8 as a percentage change, right? <laughs> right, use a formula e to power that number, then minus one, right? <laughs> as a, in computer, since we have computer, you can use a formula right here, exp, for example, for example, if the coefficient 0 0.8 is 0 0.8, then minus one, right? So calculate that number, 1.2, right? So suppose a co suppose you get the number 1.22, then the, the sentence will be, you know, uh, for for what's the variable? Uh, MS, marital status, married worker, for example, the, compared to an unmarried worker, right? Married worker, their wages will be something like a 122% higher than that one, right? Sounds for it. Make sure you write down such a sentence. Calculate number and write down such a sentence. Right? Uh, any questions? Uh, any questions for the homework? Uh, it will be due, like usual, in two weeks. Right? In two weeks. Uh, there's only a little bit left for this.